So uh, Daniel Cormier has recently come out and said uh, to the press, um, I think he was on ESPN, that he believes the one fighter that could actually give uh, serial GAN problems is uh, John Jones. Now, in my opinion, um, it he does have a very good point there. But one thing I want to commend uh, Daniel Cormier for is the fact that he's 100% unbiased and um, he's unbiased and he's uh, very unemotional and very. Uh, very practical in terms of his pick like he he obviously does have beef with uh john jones and he, he de definitely does hate him but the fact that he's giving him credit and he thinks that he can actually beat uh serial gain as she says a lot about uh daniel cormier that despite the fact that he dislikes someone he's not going to let that overshadow the fact that fact that he in his own mind believes that um a fighter has a chance against another fighter so in my opinion i think it's a great thing that um he's objective in that type of way and obviously he does have a media position within the ufc and he does have a media position within espn so the fact that he could be so objective says a lot about his character as a man but anyway besides that point um what i actually think is that um i think dc is right to some extent um now obviously uh john jones has not been looking too good in his uh recent fights against uh, the likes of uh, uh, Reyes and um, obviously Thiago Santos and all these other fighters but um, I think if he goes up to heavyweight obviously um, these fighters at heavyweight these fighters at heavyweight do will give him problems sorry the, there's background noise the fighters at heavyweight will give him problems because they do have a long reach and they they are quite tall and they do do have everything going for them and plus on top of that they do have power as well but i do think that um, there's a reason why many people consider john jones the pound for pound best um in but in 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 mixed martial arts in general and in the ufc because of the fact that his resume is untouched i mean this guy has accomplished things that are just incredible when he was in his prime i mean he was almost seen as unbeatable and to some extent he was the only loss that he's got on his record was against um i think his name's called hamill the only reason why he lost to him was because of a disqualification but because he was beating the living crap out of him if you look at that fight the guy was bleeding from his eye i mean it was horrible and um i think he done like a i think he done a 12 to 6 um elbow strike which is illegal in the ufc and that's why he got disqualified but the fact is um despite that blip um in his record um you could argue that he did lose to Sant santos and uh, reyes and the first fight against gustafson you can argue that he lost against gustafson as well but if you look at his record um he doesn't really have any blemishes apart from that disqualification where he in reality did win that fight um, the referee should have stopped it immediately but anyway all them points aside um i actually do think he can beat serial game because of his level of uh, competence in in the octagon but the fact is i think serial game can beat him also because um obviously john jones has not been looking as good as good recently and the fact is a uh, serial gain is a big guy so yeah that's my opinion on this um i actually do think yeah, john jones is not gonna get is not going to fight anyone at heavyweight unless it's Francis Ngannou or anyone who has the title because he he doesn't want to blow his chance of losing against someone at heavyweight before he cashes out a fight with him and Ngannou he's probably going to make a career high payday because obviously it's such a big high big big pay big fight um I mean you've got the greatest fighter of all time fighting uh the heavyweight champ who's considered the baddest man on the planet and um I, th I think that's that's why um that's why john jones is holding out uh the fact is um the ufc has offered john jones a fight against stipe and he never took it um even though stipe signed it and was ready to fight john jones john jones didn't want that smoke and the reason is is because he's not scared of stipe let's not get it twisted um if you look at this guy's resume at the age of like 23 he was fighting legends and he was absolutely beating them like shogun who are and all these other great fighters so he's not scared of uh stipe um stipe's resume or anything but he's not willing to risk it and take a loss against stipe because there, there is potential that he can lose a fight against stipe um he's not going to lose it he's not going to lose his opportunity at fighting for the heavyweight title so he's just holding out but i do think uh dc is right i think he he could give uh serial gain a very good fight but that's just my opinion tell me your opinion who do you think um who do you think uh john jones who do you think would win in a fight between john jones and serial gain and uh do you think he's going to fight any of the other heavyweights apart from their actual title holder which is obviously francis Ngannou. so yeah that's my opinion at this point in time tell me your opinion below and uh, like and subscribe to the channel um i've got a lot more content coming your way peace out